Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Before we get started, as we watch uh, Megatron go to work on these uh, bags of cow poop, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Guys, we started our raffle last night. Let me just tell you, we're off and running. You guys are killing it. I love y'all. God bless y'all vets. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for your sacrifice and thank you for your service. We back to blue over here. We support Leo. Well, Scab, how in the world do you do that? We don't break the damn law. And when I mean law, I mean all law enforcement, corrections officers, wildlife officers, those folks, those unsung heroes. Lastly, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. It's a fight. It's a daily fight. I fight it myself. You, you know, idle hands. Somebody says, Gabe, you got over 500 videos in 10 months. Idle hands, my boys. Now listen, we're going to get on in this. Let's jump in this right here. The title of the video is Cold Steel. I actually hadn't titled the damn thing yet. But here's the deal. We're doing kind of a versus, but it's more of a look. Let me just say this. I've said this before. The go We will never, ever be a quintessential knife channel. It ain't going to happen. I've tried. It is, it's always going to be Scab and Megatron, and we're going to do goofy stuff. Now, what we have is the Cold Steel Formax Scout in what you might call a Versus with a Rajah 2. Now, I did this for two reasons. Both have the factory edges still on them. I strop them, stropped them up really, really good before we started this. Megatron's got the Formax Scout. I got the Rajah 2. You can see that Megatron is working far smarter than I. If she's opening everything, uh, she will dump hers in a minute. As old Scabbard just goes and goes and goes. And I cut them bags in 700 different ways. Now, let me say this. Well, let me give you some specs first. That'll help us. The Raja 2, which y'all know I call the Raja, has an 8 inch handle, 6 inch blade, 4.8 millimeters thick. It is a Kukri style, uh, invented by or designed by Andrew Demko. It does have the triad lock. The Formax Scout has a six inch handle, four inch blade, and it's five millimeters thick, but it's got an extra wide blade. Now, I know that we can't do a true versus. Uh, you got two folks right there who are built totally different than one another, thank God. You got two knives that are different shapes, different styles. But I got a bunch of AUS 10A and I want to try them out against each other. What's good? What's a good functional knife? Let me say this up front. When I asked Megatron which one she wanted to use, she said the the less ridiculous one. So I assume that was the Formax Scout. Now, guys, listen. These blades are sharp. If you want to test your knife blade, get on you some bags of mulch or bags of manure, bags like that. She handed it back to me. She said, this ain't very sharp. Well, it's not It's not sharp. I think this was just a really good test. This is an everyday test. Now, I know people don't open cow poop every day. There's Lulu coming in the shot, giving her opinion on it. Lola's not happy that that fence is there. But, we do some everyday practical tests. Now, we use one and the other. The Rajah 2, I have used more than any other knife. So, in all honesty, there is a bias there for me. I've been asked a bunch and people made comments, Gab, they're not practical, they're not. Well, you know what? I use mine every day. I use a large cold steel every day. Now, granted, it's either the Formax Scout, since I've got it, I love it, or it's this, the Rajah 2. And back to that point, I've used this knife far more than I've used the Formax Scout. Does that mean I like it more? No. It means I'm more comfortable with it, and I'm going to be able to use it to a little more effect. So while this might be a versus in title, I want you guys to let me know what you think. Which one do you like? Which which one do you think tested better? I can tell you this, they're both great knives. I can tell you this, the Formax Scout. Now, somebody, I was asked, Gab, why don't you do the Formax, you know, the regular Formax against the Rajah 2? Because... The Formax that I have, if you'll remember, is the one D-Bad sent me. I, I, I went ahead and sharpened up the blade to, to my like, 
you know it was sharp when it came I just put a different edge profile on it so it doesn't have the factory edge profile the Formax Scout does I thought it'd be important to have two that are pretty equal as far as the edge bevels go I don't know what the edge bevel on each one is it would be interesting to know now here's this old pull rope pull wrap this stuff has been wet and it's it's some tough stuff to cut as you'll see now the Formax Scout, to me, is a is a great slicer. Really, really good slicer. That's what that extra wide blade gives you. You know, it's a little thinner behind the edge. Even though the Formax is five millimeters and the Rajah Two is four point eight, that thickness, guys, is negligible. And I will say this for the Rajah Two: while the yes, the blade is wide, I don't think it's as wide as the Formax Scout. The one thing the Rajah 2 gives me is that recurve, and I've always considered, and I've said this, and sometimes it gets taken out of proportion, but that's not shocking for old scabber. To me, that recurve is a bit of a cheat. Now, here's just some good, I think I just wanted to do side-by-side -side comparisons, and of course, I face them pointing more towards the uh, camera. Now, here is the Captain Electro thickness test. You can see right there, it's negligible guys 0.2 of a millimeter um, I didn't realize the Rajah 2 was that much longer um, 8 inch handle 6 inch blade gives you a ton of reach that's 14 inches overall the Formax Scouts 10 inches overall long big knife big knife both of them have great finger toils both are very comfortable in hand now here we go Little bump there by old scale. Oh, scale walking in there, son. Guys, a little update on the weight loss. I'm at 303. I weighed the other night before I went to bed and weighed 304. Woke up the next morning, weighed 303. Now, I can fluctuate 10 to 15 pounds if I don't take my medicine. That's the God's honest truth with the fluid, heart fluid, and that kind of stuff. But we're at 303. By October the 19th, I need to be under 300 pounds. I don't want to turn 50 over 300 pounds. So that's going great. A lot of you guys have been very supportive, and I appreciate that. Now, back to the video. We're going to do a little chopping, as you can see there. This is Formax Scout. I am not going to try to chop through this board. It's a six-inch long board. But I did want to do some chopping. And I'll tell you what this, this right here will show you. When you see me chopping with the Formax compared to the Rajah 2, you can really, really tell which I've used more that's why I was thinking well we'll do a versus and then Eric Hussein has has brought up the point many many times you're not going to use you're not going to have the exact same swing the exact same blow you know it's going to be different there's different factors and he's right so we did a little bit of chopping there with the Formax Scout not a bad chopper if you stuck in the woods with it you're okay the Rajah 2 is a better chopper. It's a longer blade length and it's built for chopping. Does that mean the Formax Scout sucks at chopping? No, absolutely not. You can see right there with me, I'm a little more controlled than I was on the other. That's just learning the sweet spot. And that goes back to a conversation I had with uh, John Peters last night, just back and forth over messaging. You've got to use your knives. You know, we get onto this self-defense crap you know is it good for all that shit and I'm not going over that it ain't worth a damn if you've never used it I'm telling you right now now you see that both of these they chopped okay the Rajah 2 did a better job chopping less chops they both sliced this wood very very well I was impressed with both after the, the bags of manure gave them a little fit both of them I thought oh lord but both of them come out pretty good back to using your knives now there you go scab that was beautiful son well done so you don't get that edited out stuff here you have to use your knife if you buy something and don't use it and you need it in an emergency and it don't work whose fault is that here old scab with the Formax scout the donnie b all day drop test i do that just to throw y'all off i'll drop the first one did some pretty good downward throws now right here uh, the Formax Scout handled pretty good. Did Donnie be all day throw it at the stick test? Um, 
we're going to do the D-bad stab test. I will say this, I enjoyed, the stabbing was a little bit better with the Formax Scout. Um, it handled well. The first one was just a miss, Jack. Here's another great look at it. I will do a Formax Scout versus the Formax coming up. I'm excited about that video. Now, here's the Rajah 2. I'm also going to do, I don't know, y'all tell me what you want to see. I'm going to do either the uh, Espada, XL Espada, in, with the Grivex and the 10A against the Rajah 2. i got to find a knife to put it up against. So we'll do that. We're going to do a lot of cold steel tests this week. Now, the D-Bad drop test on the Rajah and the D-Bad sling it in the stick test. The Rajah 2, just guys, you can tell I'm just more comfortable with it. So, watch the video. Let me know what you think, which one handled better for me. And then let me know which one you guys prefer. Well, my guy Mikey says it best. Everything's going to be all right. Hey, guys, we started our raffle. Please support that. Please help me share that. If nothing else, please share that video. Let's do some real good. Well, I'm scabbed. You're not, and I'm gone, son.